welcome back to my channel and for another episode of Vlogmas. I am so excited for you guys to be joining me today. If you're new here, then hello, hi. My name is Georgia May. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Check me out on Instagram. I'll leave all my social media links below. Today, you guys are gonna be coming with me around the shops. I'll be showing you guys what's new in, um, what's currently available, some things I've been picking up for Christmas. So I'm very excited to get into the vlog today. But before we do, today's video is kindly sponsored and in collaboration with Decenio. A huge thank you to you guys for working with me because I absolutely adore Decenio. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know my household are Decenio lovers. We have their prints, honestly, like nearly in every single room of this house. We have them on the landing here. We have them on the landing over there. I have them in my room. My mum has them in like the hallway bit to her room. They're in the TV room. They're in the office. So there are Desenio prints all over this house. I think they're a really fun and great way to break up the space a little bit and add a little bit of personality. I think the other nice thing is once you've chosen your frames, you can have those for life and then just change out the prints and it honestly can transform a room. So I have an amazing discount code. If you guys want to use the code Georgia35, yes, Georgia35, that is going to get you guys 35% off the Decenio website starting from today, the 18th of December, running through to the 6th of January. So it is not valid on frames or personalized prints, but all the other prints that you guys like, you will be able to use my code for. I think it's a really nice way um, to treat yourself this Christmas time and treat your home. Do you know what I mean? I feel like we're treating so many people at this time, but we also deserve to spoil ourselves and change up our like living situation sometimes. I think it adds a little bit of fresh life especially going into the new year so i did select these three prints behind me i will show you guys on the screen what they look like a little bit better i absolutely love these i actually wanted to put these frames and prints in my room but i already love the prints that i have in my room right now so instead i decided to put them in the kind of landing area on the walkway to my room i think they're really really cool prints they're a little bit disco i love the sparkle um, it's a little bit girly, but like not OTT. So love this collection that is currently on Decenio. I will definitely link these specific ones in the description box if you guys want to check them out. I have just gone for the solid dark wood frames, but they do rose gold frames, which I have in my bedroom. They do gold frames, which I think are so pretty and a statement. So there's lots of different options um, to kind of change it up. We then also changed up some of the prints that we have on the landing. So we used to have um, some really nice kind of sea imagery and it was like the beach and stuff like that and shells, which was fabulous, but it's definitely more of a spring summer sort of theme. So we wanted to change that out for two black and white pictures. Um, I have the Parisian kind of themed pictures, which I again, absolutely love. Um, I just think they look really nice in that space and they accent really well with any black and white accessories because they sit above a white chest of drawers i think it just pops in that area so absolutely love those they're another option you can go for for prints on decenio then we have some kind of abstract ones downstairs so i'm just going to pop them on the screen right now in case you guys want some inspo for any spaces in your home um in the office area we have more of like a beigey neutral tone with some more kind of like abstract um designs i think they really fit that space really nice and look lovely and then following in to the living room we've gone for more of like a navy sort of print i think i've shown these ones to you guys before in another video but I just wanted to show you uh, them again if you do want to have a little bit of colour that's something you can also do you can have like a really basic room and then kind of do the um, accent colours in the prints and it's not frightening because you can always change them out if in six months time you want to do something different in that room yes that is all the information for the Decenio prints I'll be sure to leave the code in the description box again it's just Georgia 35 I really love them I think they're a great option for changing up a space adding something a little bit different they have some really cool features on the website where you can actually see what the prints are going to look like in your own space so they have a gallery wall tool gallery wall tool that allows you to kind of add in different prints different frames see what it's going to kind of look like visualize that space for yourself which i think is really key um, when sort of doing a gallery wall or a statement wall with prints and frames so yes there's something for everyone i will leave all of my favorites below i hope that this gave you a little bit of inspiration if you're stuck any questions you guys have, I'll be down there replying to comments. Um, and yeah, happy shopping. Hello, Vlogmas episode four. I believe we're on episode four now, Vlogmas. This is flying by. I feel like I've turned into daily vlogging pretty much. I said that I was just going to weekly vlog throughout Vlogmas, but I feel like I've been doing so much stuff that's been worthy of 
that's my dog. So much stuff that's been worthy of vlogging, which is quite nice for you guys, because I feel like these videos have been somewhat interesting. Just about to load up my car and head into London, because I'm gonna be taking photos, Instagram reels, all of that good stuff. But in this episode of Vlogmas, I'm actually gonna be doing a come shop with me. Sorry, my dog has just walked up the stairs in a reindeer costume, so it's kind of amusing me. Um, so yes, this is actually not really gonna be like a full day of Vlogmas. This is more like a come shop with me in Primark. I just thought that would be a nice little vlog to do and change up some of these episodes. It's currently a half past six. We are going to the one in London that is open till 11 o'clock. Um, so I'm gonna drive into town and park so that we can obviously take content and things like that. Otherwise I would have just got the train. But yeah, very excited. Need to go downstairs, sort myself out. I will probably join you guys once I'm in London. So very, very excited. Hello everyone, Bella's here with me. Hello. <laughs> Hello, we have just got here and we're heading to Primark. That is obviously our first port of call today. It feels weird like being in London like just for the evening, like not all day. Know, Normally by I this point like I'm so it. tired, I've got all my shopping bags. I quite like it, I feel like a bit of a Londoner, like a proper Londoner. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <We're on an laughs> not adventure. a fake one, yeah. Whereas here, this is actually a really good Zara by the way. If anyone's wondering, really recommend. It's the one opposite Debenhams on Oxford Street. You guys the lights because they're super, super pretty. But obviously this is gonna be my new in, what's new in at Primark. I'm really excited. I've not been in there since it's reopened, like since lockdown. So I'm actually really excited and I wanna get some cute Christmassy bits and maybe like some homeware bits. Yeah. Like mugs and yeah. candles and things like that. This was always really good for homeware. Oh, is it? I think the, the, oh. the London ones are so much better. I think no, I think one so. Our local rubbish. one is really quite rubbish. Really rubbish. If you know where our local one is, then you'll probably agree with us. But I'll show you guys the lights because um, they're just so pretty. It's such a nice building. Okay, guys, so I'm outside the Primark store. There is a security man as soon as we walk in. So I am gonna record, but I'm gonna record once I've gone past him, just to try not to get in trouble. So I will be filming, but once we go past the security man. I'm gonna wash. Yeah. Maybe I'll add them in the basket and then. And see when you yeah. get to check out that color. We've got loads of coats in here, by the way, guys. So many coats. Like a trench there. Have a look at that. That is in a tiny size, but that is quite cute, you know. I keep, I keep getting into a fight with my basket. Like, we keep getting into a ruckus, guys. Like, I can't look. I can't get the handle up. It's caused me a lot of issues, this basket. All the Christmas bits here, they've got. These would match my tree so well, but I do not need any more decorations, but they would literally match my tree. So cute. I think that's quite cute. I don't know how much it is. How many times do I say cute in this video? Let's put a clock up. £10, that's quite good. Yeah, I like time, that. That was a two times XL, it doesn't even look that. N not massive, is it? No, like not absolutely gonna drown. Like it looks comfy, but it's not like super, I love it, those kinds of things super yeah, oversized. Massive, yeah. yeah. I don't know if they have that. It's all the fluffy lounger here. Let's see if we've got anything around here. Just picked up some white uh, kind of shorts and some white trousers as well. They just look super comfy, but obviously check out my haul if you want to see the bits that I end up buying. What you've got in your basket so far, the jeans. One pair of jeans. One pair of jeans. Yeah, I'm, I'm, don't worry, I'm not doing much better than you. Picked up the black one, because I thought the cut looked like quite a nice cut. So I just picked that one up in a UK 12. We'll have to see if it fits me or if it's a bit small, but it's eight pounds, which I thought wasn't too bad. And it also comes in that khaki. It's like Bella's boots, cute khaki color, which would be really nice with any cream, like neutral cream colors, even gray. What size are you wearing? I got an I got a 12 but I'm looking at it like I hope there's some stretch in there because that looks fine me right now a 12 that is not going anywhere near me I know looks fine I actually really like that color yeah I like it would look really nice with like a jumper like a cream knit yeah I was thinking like with these yeah, Boots. that would look so nice. Like a cream like so, this. so nice. They look quite long, but... They do look quite long, but with like a really chunky trainer. Yeah. Or but then this is a, I just don't know what to get. I wanted to get a 10 or a 12. Oh. Like, I wish they made size 11. Do you Same, so, did I, yeah, so do I. Like every single waist size, it would be so much nicer. A lot of denim in here. A lot. We're in the denim area. That's why denim yeah, coat. Yeah, but it was mini mouse ones. <laughs> Wow, some bling bling over here. Anyone looking to sparkle their life up a bit? They're cute, these like little like trinket 
things. And these are like the ones from my gift guide, if anyone remembers, that are from Truly, that are really expensive. And they have them here for seven quid. So they're kind of cute. We could maybe find something here. Pillowcases, pillows, plus grass, moment, kind of. These little wooden bowls are super cute. <gasps> I love these cocktail making things. This one's in gold. Oh, I think that's really cute. I grab one of those for someone. I like that idea. I love this like cocktail making kit here. How oh, cute is that? I think I'm gonna get that for someone. Well, like my dad would like that. I think that is so cute. I really enjoy that. Okay, that can be a gift. And I like that. Hey guys, we're out. We made it out. That was stressful. It was quite stressful. Like there's a bit of a ruckus at the checkout. It was all just going a bit manic. I did just buy some hand sanitizer because. I feel like I've touched quite a lot of things and I, I forgot my hand sanitizer. But we are going to head back to the car, I think, and start doing some of our other work. <laughs> I feel like the night has only just begun and it's 10 o'clock at night, which is very, very surreal. Um, but yeah, we're going to go down the street and sort all of that, that out. She was like, cue that. She was really shouting at you. And there then was I, no one in the queue. She was, was, like, she was, was like, being really mean. And then I thought, I'm sorry, I have to get involved. And I went, no, I said, the reason why, like, because I thought, what? She was just being quite mean. I, I saw someone like waiting, so I went to like go. My lady was lovely. Yeah, she out. was lovely. The man was nice, but she was she was putting tags on stuff. Like yeah. I could have just gone. I don't know what her problem was. That's why I went. She was just stood there. Very strange. Right, we're gonna get some pics. Ciao. Hello guys. So I have moved the car further down Bond Street. It started tipping it down when we decided to get photos. Typical. Um, so we're gonna try some other areas that are a little bit more undercover, like that's undercover. And there's like a few more spots. It's super quiet right now, but you guys can see it has just been pissing it down, raining. Really difficult in the winter in the UK to try and get photos, but we are gonna persevere. Good energy, good vibes. Can you guys see me? The lights are really pretty, so. Guys, I am home in my bed. I'm so happy to be in my bed. And it is half past two. I'm gonna literally check some emails that I have not answered this week and um, go to sleep. So I will check in with you all in the morning. Bye. Hello vlog, how are we all? Um, I'm not too sure when this footage is going in because I did film some bits when I was in London about, probably about a week ago now. Um, and it was like some new in bits of Primark and like a little bit of like a London evening kind of footage and vlog but I did film it on my other camera which is the new Sony camera which I purchased and just so many of you guys are commenting saying that you feel sick and I do not want to make you guys feel nauseous so until I figure out how to fix that problem which I will figure out it's all good I've decided to just switch back to this Canon camera so I'm not 100% sure if I've even kept that footage in um, of what I kind of found at, at Primark and stuff sorry people are literally staring at me like I'm crazy this girl's waving at me but I don't know who she is so I just waved back um, I don't know who she was am I supposed to recognise her oh god I feel so bad she waved at me so I waved back that, I've got all that on camera right I'm getting so distracted here guys what I'm trying to say is I'm not sure if this is the beginning of the vlog or if I've already got previous footage if this is the beginning hello hi um I'm sure you guys have seen all my Desenio prints, which I absolutely love. Those black and white ones I think are so fab. They're really going with my black motif at the moment. I'm like in that kind of vibe. I just sat here in my car. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I wanted to speak to you like on a real level. And I just like screamed. Like I literally was like, ah! Like I was just screaming. Like I just, I feel so much frustration. And I just, I cannot wait to say sayonara, goodbye, see you later, see you never to 2020. Don't like forget to close the door on your way out, hun. What's happened this year has just been a shitstorm for everyone. And I just hope you guys are all okay. I know we're all really excited for the Christmas festive period, but something about this time of year just doesn't feel to me normal. It doesn't feel how it normally is. Um, it's just gonna be me, my mum, my dad and my sister over the Christmas like time. I know you're allowed to like mix households and stuff. It's just gonna be us four. My grandparents live in Spain um, and it's just not, safe for them they're older to come over which we're really like if she's watching this hi gaga miss you love you hi gramps uh love you guys and like obviously we wish that they could come over but it's just not the right 
for us like personally obviously this is not like people's own make their own decisions i totally believe in that but it's just not the right thing to do so they're gonna stay there for this christmas which is just gonna be a little bit strange because it's just gonna be us for but it's still gonna be lovely and i feel so lucky that i get to spend it with my family anyway and i also feel so lucky that i get to have like proper christmas dinner with everyone i don't have to like go to another job or anything like that yeah i do feel super lucky i don't want you guys to think i'm like oh life is awful but it's just it's just a weird christmas time isn't it like i was saying so my grandparents are gonna stay in spain and then on my dad's side my nana passed away when i was quite young and then my dad's dad passed away this year um so yeah like it's just been the weirdest year for everyone hasn't it what a, what a year so anyway i hope you guys are all okay i hope you're all gonna have a lovely christmas no matter what you're getting up to let me know in the comments what you're doing this kind of christmas time i know in the uk christmas is just such a huge thing for us and it's such a social thing for me i normally see my friends so much and i feel like i've barely seen them just found out that the area in which i live is going into tier three on saturday um we didn't initially go into tier three when i know london went in but we've just been told we're going in so i'm trying to do some last minute christmas shopping which is what i'm going to bring you guys with me for right now um and i also i think i've just taken on so much work which i'm again so grateful for so happy i've got the work but you know when you like are like yeah this will be fine i can get that done i can get that done in three days and then i woke up this morning and i looked at my to-do list and i was like honey really there's only so many hours in the day a bit stupid for taking on all the work but it's fine we'll get it done we always get it done in the end anyway someone's ringing me my mum hello i just parked yeah so i just screamed in frustration i got all my energy out this is very this is very therapeutic guys i really recommend doing this if you're feeling frustrated stressed to the max scream and like get it all out of your frustration out i saw that on sophia and chintzy's vlog and then i just put on like three mood lifting songs like positive energy vibe songs and it's like put me in a great mood and i, I vlogging puts me in the best mood like i could be having the worst day and i pick up my camera and i don't know i just automatically like, kind of cheer up so i'm glad that i'm vlogging sorry everyone guys is looking at me like what is this girl doing why is she recording herself also i've just lost my parking ticket i tell a big fat lie i haven't lost it it's right here yes i'm gonna bring you guys shopping with me we're gonna go and look in some of the stores i've got so many christmas gifts i need to buy i think because it's just the four of us i want to go a little bit more ott i guess this year and just get my mum, dad and sister a few more gifts because we'll be the only ones kind of like exchanging gifts so i just want to treat them to a few nice things this year and just it's been an awful year so i just want them to feel like they've had a good christmas we're gonna go shopping i'm gonna bring you guys with me let's have a good day let's have a good vlogmas day i said to my mum, i was like i'm struggling with vlogmas a little bit because every time i think of a new vlogmas idea i find out something's been restricted and i can't go there or do that and i'm like eventually vlogmas is going to be me in my bedroom like singing christmas carols so yeah So, sorry, you can't hear me. I just found out that the girl who was waving to me watches my videos. She just messaged me on Instagram. She's like, I was the girl that was waving at you, by the way. So, I'm so sorry if I looked very confused. It's because I thought it was like a friend of mine that I didn't recognize or something. So, I was just like awkwardly waving back. Managed to pick up a couple of bits in anthropology. Actually, a lot. Did a lot of damage in there. It cost me a lot of money, but. I've got quite a few bits. I'm now just going to pop into a shop which is called the dressing room. Um, the Christmas decorations are so cute here. And yeah, just see if I can get anything else. I thought it was going to be quite quiet just because obviously everyone's going into like different tiers and stuff. It is very busy. Yeah, I'll show you guys the decorations because they're so pretty. What cute does that look? Oh my god, it looks so cute. And then there's a little Christmas tree here. And it's just so festive and cute. So really getting the festive vibes to be honest anyway i am going to go in here which is a shop called the dressing room and see if there's any gifts i can buy so i managed to get a few bits i was literally running around town like in and out of all the shops like an absolute crazy person see this camera now doesn't want to focus on me these are the issues technical issues we're having with the camera saga um so yeah it was an absolute nightmare but i managed to get a few bits i think there's still a few more bits i need to really get to be honest so might have to be here longer than i planned me and my mum have just come to wagamama's we're in this little enclosed area oh. yes thank you 
I am just having a positive juice because I need positive vibes in my life right now. So I thought I'd have a positive juice. This is my favourite juice, by the way, from Wags. Um, I think it would be really nice if you want to have it for breakfast. But if you have it near you, you can get delivery. I think this is the breakfast would be. Okay. I'm doing one of these because I need it. And I think I'm going to order the Yasai Pad Thai. Um, and then we're going to go because we've got to get out of here. Honestly, this day, guys, is like going from A to B, like, it's madness. So I'm really sorry. I basically tucked right on in and I completely forgot that I was supposed to be vlogging, honestly. So I just went for the Yasai Pad Thai. They've given me such a big portion, which I'm buzzing about. And we had some chilli salt, which I, uh, edamame, which I showed you guys before. And then my mum's gone for the yasayaki soba. Here she is, everyone. Vanessa, and there's your pal there. Not sure what she's doing. She's not eating because she's just in awe of the food. Yeah, it does look a bit unusual, that poster. <laughs> I am so out of breath. Like, honestly, the weight of what I've decided to buy everyone it's just so heavy and I completely forgot. I'll show you guys the stuff that's on the floor. My car is full of recycling for the tip and I just haven't had a minute to go there. And I've somehow got to fit all of this in the car when my car is like full of boxes. So this is what I've just been carrying. And everything in here is like weighs an absolute ton. Like literally it's all candles and like glassware. As you guys can hear in my breath, I'm really out of breath. I've also got two bottles of Prosecco in there. It's just, all right, let's see if we can get anything. Oh God in the back of this car. She did it, she did it. Look, I've still got my sunglasses on. It's been pitch black all day. I don't know why I've got them on my head, but um, she did it. She managed to get everything in the car. It's all good and well. It's cause my car doesn't, it's like three doors, not five doors. So you have to like move the chair to put stuff in the boot. Um, but I managed to get everything in the car. So, so happy. I am just too last minute for my own good. I think it's because I've just been prioritizing work so much. And I didn't even think that it was Christmas next week. So it's my own fault, but I feel really happy with all the gifts I got. I think I've done a really good job and I can breathe. Pop over a bottle of Prosecco. Um, by the way, if you're one of those people that have their gifts sorted by November, you guys are like top tier people. Like you have just, you're a good human being, well done. I am not, but we've done it, it's all good. I've got the cutest wrapping. I've got this wrapping from WH Smith that has like little penguins on it. And it's kind of like teal, like really, really light blue. And I got some like light blue ribbon. So yeah, anyway, I'm going home. I will see you all in a bit. My, is my mask hanging from my ear? No, it's not. I must have put it in my bag. <laughs> Bye guys. Hello everyone. How are we all? That was a little bit manic, wasn't it? I feel like you guys probably feel stressed out rather than relaxed from watching this episode of Vlogmas. I hope you don't feel too stressed watching me kind of run around like a literally a headless chicken. I'm just in my gym gear because I've just been on a morning walk. Even though I have so, so much to do, Sorry, that was my dog, by the way. He's down there snoring. Um, I just felt like I needed to get out and have some fresh air. I really haven't done that this week. I really have not prioritised that at all. Um, and it's so good for you mentally. And it's made me feel so much better. Because even though I have loads to do, I just think it's cleared my mind a bit. And, like, going outside and getting a bit of fresh air is just... Honestly, it's, like, good for the soul. So, I do feel... Ooh, really happy I did that. Sorry, I can't show you guys the gifts I bought. I just haven't given them yet. And I feel like I can't show you guys gifts because I know a lot of the people that I'm gifting things to will probably be watching this vlog. I will maybe show you on Christmas day, the stuff I bought my family if I'm vlogging on Christmas day. I can show you what I bought my PT because um, I've already given it to her. She's actually already opened it. So I'm allowed to do that. I got her a pink bottle of Prosecco from Marks and Spencer. It's the nicest Prosecco. And then I got her four of these glasses, but the Prosecco glasses, I've spoken about these before in my gift guide. They're just a really, really nice gift. She's moving house next year. So I just thought it was a nice kind of option for someone if you're a little bit stressed. I'll link that below and last minute like me. Yeah, I ordered that online uh, a little while ago and got that for her. So I've given her her gift. I've given Bella her gift. Um, so I feel a little bit more relaxed. Uh, I've just got a couple more that I need to do. I need to sort out my secret Santa with my group of girlfriends. We do like a secret Santa thing every year um, instead of buying for like everyone because it can get a bit much sometimes. So I feel a little bit like chilled about that. I'm so sorry for my hair right now. I've got an oil treatment at the top of my hair. Um, yeah, cause I'm just trying to like give it a really good condition, so. Anyway, it was a bit hectic. If you guys have seen my Instagram, you'll see the content that I ended up getting in London, which I'm so happy with. It came out really, really well. Um, hopefully you guys saw my Primark vlog and all of that stuff. So yes, 
things are all going good should i show you guys some of the wrapping that i bought yesterday let me show you look at my two little dogs baby buddy super cute and then Haas is there. Basically, this wrapping paper, which is super, super pretty, you actually can't stick sellotape on. It won't stick to the type of wrapping paper this is, which is so annoying because it looks so nice, but then you wrap up a present and it like won't stick down. So it's an absolute pain. But I just got that and then I got these little cute things to go on, like these little star gift tags and like, like these little, I thought these were so cute, these little bells. Oh my gosh, I love them. I'm WH Smith, if any of you guys are at all wondering. So that is it for today's episode of Vlogmas. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. Feel free to leave a comment below. Please like the video. Um, at the moment, YouTube and, and Instagram in particular, I'm really struggling just with engagement and I think because of the algorithm over on Instagram. And I don't like to talk about it a lot because you guys don't want to know that. It's boring. Um, and you just you know want to enjoy the content or whatever you see on your newsfeed but just know that when you do choose to like someone's photo or comment on it or their video it honestly makes the world of difference and we all appreciate it i think i can speak on behalf of loads of us here we all appreciate it so much because it just really helps us with engagement and trying to figure out the algorithms on these platforms which seem to change all the time so you kind of get used to it and then it changes again but it's fine it keeps us on our toes um yes i hope you guys all enjoyed today's vlogmas video there will be some coming next week we are getting super close to christmas now not too sure what i'm actually getting up to just because now i'm like going into tier three i can't really do a lot but it's fine we'll figure out some fun things to do and post on here don't forget to check me out on instagram and i'm sure i will speak to you all very very soon i have a really good video coming this weekend with opoly and a discount code so keep your eyes peeled bye